Alright, hello, this is I. This week I'm going to mix the Pure Mix competition song by Amber Sky. So what I'm going to do, I haven't actually listened to the track at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call this to the session. And then let's just see what happens. So apparently they have uh, imported stereo files instead of mono, so I think we can just get rid of half of, to half of those tracks, so anyway, those were the drums, so let's color code them color number three effects alright different tracks alright please don't ask again all right, so these were effects, so let's color code these purple. Next we have guitars. Different tracks. Oh no, did I actually disable? Oh well. Blue. Then we have keyboards, let's make them also purple, but different shade of purple. So I usually use this one, so it's a bit darker shade of purple. Then vocals, that's a nice amount of tracks. So different tracks all right all right so let's make these pink and it seems that the tracks actually should be mono like here but they might not be so it doesn't really matter so let's Add a limiter to the master, so we actually, let me also hide the input, we don't need to see that. Let's put a limiter to the master in case we get an over, so it doesn't clip. <coughs> Alright, so all this is going to be live, so let's turn down all the tracks by say, I don't know, 12 dB or something like that, so... We don't get any clipping. All right, so let's press play. It's mono. Okay, we get some cool action going on here. These are, these are harmonies, so. so let's put them there. Ooh, ooh, oohs are where? Actually, let me recolor code this. So let's put everything pink and then I'll just color code the leads as the yellow. So then there was vocal verse. All right, those are leads. Let's see what else. Here we have a pre-chorus something something. 
so they should go between there. It's pretty solid, it's easier to see. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Chorus Owl. And this is ad lib, so it's kind of a lead, but not a lead anyway. And vocal break is most likely also a lead. So let's see. In case you were wondering, I've been drinking beer, so I might be not the most vocal about things. So I'll try to just follow what I'm doing. All right, let's continue. So pre-harmony. So this is also secondary color. Dead rare color. And vocal break is most likely the. Let's check it out what, what it is. Hiding from the daylight. You. Okay, it doesn't null out, so they are different texts or different tuning. So that's cool. So I think I'll just keep them both in this hard left, hard right, as the name suggests. All right, so let's mute the vocals for now. So let's not get distracted by those and disable tracks so that they won't get be turned on so let's check out the drums so beat left right They don't null out, but the kick at least is in mono, so let's do it like that. I think it actually would be easier to mix this in Pro Tools because um, Cubase doesn't handle dual monos in one track, so I would have to do some crazy routing. And I don't really feel like it, so I'll just do it like this and then just make a drum group and then just process everything there. All right, let's continue. Another stereo track. Stereo track. Mm -hmm. Kick. If this nulls out, I'll just delete one of the tracks. Yep. So they null out, so I'll just delete the right track. Same here. If it knows out, I'll just remove the excess tracks. Yep, knows out, so remove selected track. My guess is the same thing happens here. Oh, it has a room reverb, so it doesn't know out. But I still think, don't think we need that, so let's remove that. <coughs> Sounds like a <laughs> something from drum machine. All right, it doesn't null out, so let's keep that. Now, actually, let's not. The less, the less. I think the same thing here. Reverb doesn't null out, but everything else does. Yep. All right, so let's remove that because we're gonna keep it in the center anyway. Snare hook. Yep. Nothing worth keeping there. All right, now we have the track countdown. Actually, let's do the same thing here. So let's just check out which one is the louder one. Because I don't think there is anything worth mentioning in there. So 
in here the right one is louder right one is louder right one left one is louder so so left left right remove bomb done all right let's continue so now our track count is down to 11 on the drum so that's good so let's reorganize these so these go to the bottom and hi-hat goes after the snares and now our drum sound like this and let's balance the balance better All right, that sounds good. So let's make a new group stereo for the drums. So, all right, and let's add all this to the group. All right, so now we can do all the processing in the group instead of the individual tracks because I think they sounded kind of okay as is. If they don't, then let's figure it out later in the context. Let's check it out. Let's compress it just a tad. What I haven't used. Yep, sounds good. Let's move on. So let's see what do we have here on the guitars all right vibe guitar sounds like something that just needs to be panned so so vibe guitar you go here you go here you go here you go here Burst guitar right, burst guitar left, ukulele you'll be in the center, right, left. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, where are you white guitar one? Alright, you'll be in the center also. These sound like they are out of phase, so let's check it out. Yep, they are out of phase. So, what's the problem here? So, let's check off the snap. Are they the same thing? Ah, so let's turn this one forward. Are they the same thing? But we just phase. Reverse. I don't know. They might be. But the other one is a bit late, so let's move them to so that they are on the same phase relation. So they should be around here. Alright. Here and let's move them up. Alright. Alright, let's just keep them where they were, so this one could come in just a bit, so, because they are not very tightly played. Alright, that's better. 
So let's check. What else do we have here? We have a keyboards and effects. So let's move these down under the keyboards. Do we have a bass? Okay, sub fatty verse arp. Let's check this out. <sighs> All right, hard left, hard right, hard left. Sub fatty sounds like a bass. So let's check it out. Where are you guys? And yes, they are indeed. So let's make those green so now that they are bases. Lead in double. Alright. First one. You go to the left. And you go to the right. Up left. And up right. Organ left. Organ right. Bridge bass. Well, that is pretty descriptive. But again, let's check out if they are the same. And if they are, I'll just remove the excess track. Because the less you need, the less you need. Yes, they indeed do cancel out. Remove selected tracks. should maybe put this above the guitars all right so so we have a uh, our drum is here and the bass is here That's good balance for them. All right, that one needs just a bit more volume, so let's just add with it with the compressor. As you notice, when I flip the face, we get more low end. So, what we could actually also do is that we just move it just a bit behind, so that it will be because we see that here the face goes down, where here it goes up. So it's in the opposite face. Well, so let's just fix that with the polarity flip, and that's what we did, and it now sounds better. So, what else do we have here? So let's let's add in the arp. Arp. Maybe I should actually link those. So it's easier for me. So link channels. Link. Link. Link and link. All right, let's check it out. But let's start from here.
That sounds kind of cool. Up. And let's check if they are too loud here now. Yeah, they aren't, but the piano needs some sort of volume increase. Let's make another group here. So this will be the keyboards or KBS, KBS, reverse suck. <laughs> All right, so here they are. And here you go. I'll also put the bases there. Usually I put bases different, but I'll just keep them there. Where are we? Here. Uh, let's put some sort of MV2 here also. So. So good so far. So then let's make another group for the guitars. I really hate that Cubase throws those groups at the bottom and instead of not to the next row where it's selected. So let's put all these. All right, and they go to the group three, which is the guitars. All right. Sounds good. I'll skip the effects and do them later, but let's make another group for them. So EFX. All right. And you guys go here. All right. Mute those and let's go now back to the vocals. Enable track and All right, and now let's check the verse vocal level. I'll put a compressor there anyway, if it needs it. And it needs it. All right, so let's start with the R box and let's see if it needs any more.
Hiding from the daylight. So. Hiding from the daylight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take like one of the each section, which seem like they are. For example, this is Corusal, so I'll make this the lead. So that always there is one lead and that gets the Arvox treatment. Alright, so... And everything else gets to be a bit quieter in the background. Hiding from the daylight Alright, good good good, so... Let's start from here. Uh, let's group these and put the level so that they are about that good. Alright, left, right, left, right, sensor. Good. Now. Same thing here, so let's group these vocals. A link channel, so and I actually think that we'll just move this one down there where it belongs. So here. Woo! So these will go up in volume. But you get the idea, so same thing. So in the verse, where are we? So I'll just move this ad lib further down where it should belong. So maybe around here. All right, so. And vocal breach also gets one lead. So let's say it's this one, number one, usually is. A good indicator. All right. Here, have your box. All right. Now let's link these two. From the daylight, you got me howling. Up. I decided that they sound better unlinked, so I'll just move this one just a bit down so the other one stays as lead and the other one stays as uh, backing. Ooh, hiding from the daylight. Let's actually make it a bit more coarsey on the secondary. Ooh. Let's try phaser, maybe it works better. Ooh. Yes, it works better. Ooh. Hiding from the daylight. 
So what I'm doing with the Adlib, I'm going to make it like a telephone sound, so I'm going to use the distortion from Kramer tape, and I'm not going to use the noise this time, so I'm So what I'll do is I'll just set the level so that it will be so that it sounds good. So let's check it out. Maybe a bit too little. So we are now left with the effects, so let's check it out. What do we uh, even have here? So, uh, reverse suck. Ah, I hate me. All right, the, these are, seems to be all stereo effects, but check it out. So left, right, link, link. The boring part of the job. Link. Maybe I should actually make a keyboard shortcut for that. Let's check out if there is actually an option for that. So link channels. So link channels. All right. Well, there is unlink. So let's check. Shift link. Uh, comma shift L. All right. Actually. Let's check. All right. So, comma shift. Uh, okay. What about just L? Uh, what is not in use? All right. So that one is not in use. Unlink channels. Is this all right? Option shift. All right, I'll, I'll remember those. So, unlink and unlink. All right, cool. Let's continue. So, link, link, dark effects, link. And link. All right, seems good. Let's check out where they are. So everything that's near each other, I'll just put them next to each other. So these are all here and these are also there. So let's put them here. And these come after these sucking thingies. All right, so these are also here. Backboards. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so these are also here. So, and grass effects are also here. So, let's put these here. All right, so they look kind of okay, except these could be here. All right. And the impact effects are here, and dark effect is here. So let's start with the dog. 
Oh, we have this on the end. Was that it? Oh, sorry. Let's go to EFX. Why didn't they go to EFX? All right. That's odd because I can see the dark effects is here. But I hear nothing. Is the volume here on? Yes, it is. Got me howling at the moonlight. Okay, that was the backwards. Uh, but reverse suck. Light. Yep, way too loud. I, I'm really wondering why I don't hear the dark effect. Does it work here? The, what's the time here? So around, around 3.15 or something like that. Do I hear it in Odyssey? Or Audacity? Nope. There's... what is it? It's <laughs> literally nothing. Uh, I'm really confused. It's like... There's nothing there. It's a mono track. Uh, let's see the analyzer. Is it like super high frequency that I just don't hear? Life. Yes. No wonder. It's like um, what is this? Ah. Uh, Nineteen k. So, that's going out. Remove. Cool. Don't need that. <sighs> All right, let's check out. So, let's start from the beginning. Right, the impact might. Yeah, this one can come all backwards. All right, that's we are. too loud. We are. Oh, 
think the main mix starts to be actually quite all right now. So, how many plugins do we have? We, other than the master bus limiter, that's basically doing nothing. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15 plugins, one EQ. So I think that's a pretty good rough mix point. So I think I'll just cut the video here and that is the rough mix. So next time when we come back, I will do the final mix.